In today's video guys, we're going to be checking out if it's possible that you can drift a standstill drift car. Oh sh**. Dang gang. Low style gang. Low style gang. Low style gang. Standstill car drift pack for Zerg Corsa. Uh, I seen these cars a while back actually and I want to do a video on them to see if it was possible that these could be kind of good drift cars because of course we all know that if you have like maybe 10 millimeters of tire tread on your, you know, with all of your negative camber on the rear that like how is it even possible to really drift good uh i'm i'm a farm of a function i'm a farm no i'm a function over farm type of guy okay right i like a cars that drive good i don't really care about looks so much i do okay you know it's nice to have a good looking car okay whatever so here we are we're in this 180sx it's got an sr20 We're probably the most obnoxious blow-off sound I've ever heard in my life. Uh, as you can see, it's freaking decked on the floor. Stands out. It's got about negative 50 degrees of camber on the rear and a negative 25 on the front. That's what it looks like to me. Massive exaggeration. I don't know how much camber it has. Do you want to know why? Do you want to know why? Look at this, guys. Huh? It's all a lie. It doesn't have uh, lots of camber on the front to rear. It's got negative 3 and 0 0.2. It's all a lie. It's a lie! So, besides that uh, discovery, uh, we're going to continue on with this and we're just going to see what they're like to drive anyway. Um, this mod, get down the link in the description if you want to try it yourself. It's got a lot of different functionality. You can actually change your body kit. I'm not really sure what's going on with the glitter on this. There must be something wrong that I've done on my end that these cars are so much glitter. Um, because if you press the other body kit, it looks kind of normal. So, maybe it's some setting that I have on. Like, we, we can even change the color of the roll cage as well. Like, how... Could you imagine that? Or maybe it's lights. Or maybe that's what they're meant to be. Maybe they're supposed to be lighting. Anyway, there's lots of different stuff on this. Oh, we even got lights in the interior on here as well. So, we got Stroby Boys. I, if you notice one thing, guys, it doesn't have calipers. I, what, is this, um... Is this SEMA? Honestly, guys, it's definitely an interesting mod. Look at all the strobes and stuff. I have to give them credit for that. Some pretty cool stuff. We're going to go and run this car over the jump of Minami and see will it survive. Uh, yeah. Let's see how we get on. So, we're on Minami. This is the Ibisu Sao Course. And uh, this track has a massive jump in it like you might have seen in the intro. And uh, we're just going to see how this car takes it. Let's see, let's see how this car takes it. So we go around the final hairpin turn as you do at the Matsuri. Launch it up towards the jump. Aim it up for the jump. Go over the jump. Land it like a like a beast. Angle it up. Wow, look at that. First try. Here we go. Not like I practice it whatsoever. Make it to the inside corner here. Upshift. Car super slow transitioning. I, I, I feel I feel a lack of response, right? Um, it's not very <laughs> direct. <laughs> Uh, it's quite numb, but I think that's probably I mean we could use the excuse that maybe that's to do with the fact that like you know I've got negative 20 or 30 degrees of camber in the front, but I, I, I we, We've kind of proven that that's not the case <laughs> So uh, I think this mod is more of a show mod rather than um, uh, Like trying to stay true to how it looks if that makes sense So, I think as long as it looks cool, that's the main thing. Look at that for an entry! <laughs> now, if you think that's all the power it's got, wait till you see this. As we just flip the switch. 30, 40, 50%, no, 6, 100% boost. <laughs> Guys, you've seen nothing yet. Fifth gear, guys. Yeah. 700 horsepower, probably. I don't know how much power it's got. It's got a lot. Manji down the back straight. We're in fifth gear as you're about to go over the jump. Oh, over, over the jump. Yes. Yes. Sounds like a, a coming truck now, with all the, uh, you know, induction boost bull up noise. <laughs> so yeah, this mod obviously is just for show, guys. It's not, it's kind of like a more of a fun mod that you can do lots of different things and stuff, which is obviously a good showcase of what Sutter Corsa is kind of all about. 
Yeah, I just find it funny. It's kind of kind of got all these quirks. Do another jump. One last jump. What? <laughs> The grow cage is now suddenly turned back to green, guys. Yeah. So, um, this S14 Zinki, it looks quite cool, right? But what if I press this key and it looks different? Uh, it's got a different body kit, got some different wheels. It's got even more negative camber on the rear. Oh my god, look at those taillights. Can I have those in real life, please? Oh, dude, dude this thing has everything. Look at those weird strobes going across uh, what I assume it says low style gang. Man, this thing is... Oh my god, my camera's gone over, all over the place. So... Oh no, it has the same with the camera. My bad, my bad. Never, never mind, ignore me. What are what other stuff we got? Oh, we could turn that off and on. Very nice, yeah. What else can we do? Nothing else, maybe? Anything on the rear? Nothing. Okay. Um, okay, guys, I gotta say, this mod has like lots of really cool features and nicks and crannies and stuff like that. But like, driving-wise, it's not the greatest, if I'm honest. Um, this particular car has apparently 850 horsepower. And uh, I did, as a social experiment, by the way, I did try to increase the camber on the rear, but it doesn't do anything visually. And I wonder, is that because of these extra features that you can actually change the wheels on the fly? That's probably why. Either way, uh, I want to try this car out. We're on this track called uh, Minami Chiba, which you might have seen in some popular Japanese, Australian guys' video footage uh, from a very popular YouTube channel on YouTube. Uh, he goes by the name of... Um, uh, uh, Alexi or Noriaro. I okay. Back to Noriaro. I like him. Okay, I'm just, uh, I just, I just wasn't really thinking what I was saying at the time. Uh, if you're watching this, Alexi, I, I do, I do like your stuff. I don't mean anything bad, bad. Okay, okay, sorry. Okay. Anyway, change the subject. Let's move on. Let's forget about that. I ever said anything bad. So this car apparently has 850 horsepower. Let's dump the clutch here and see what it does. Okay, okay. First of all, it doesn't got the beans that we need, so we're just gonna have to flip the switch here. Just keep going, yeah, 100%, here we go. And on the fly, while we're driving... Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, are we falling through the floor? Uh... Oh, I blooped the engine. How did I do that? Oh, I blew it up again! What? I can't run 100% boost! Fine, okay, I'll turn it down then. I'm sorry, game. Changing the body kit while we drift. Woo! Turn on some lights. Dude, I have to say, the taillights in this car are sick, though. I would love to have these taillights in real life. I think they look awesome. Kind of reminds me of, like, uh, oh my god, this engine is smoking up badly. It just definitely cannot take the power. It looks like a, a diesel now with the smoke coming out the back of it. I'm trying to drift with my keyboard on my lap so I can do this changing of stuff. <clears throat> Why are you taking off again? What are you doing? So guys, that's where we're going to end it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, Low Slang Gang, link in the description if you guys want to try it out. It's on a set of car set. They've got lots of different cars and stuff. Uh, we only shot two of the cars out of, I think, 20 of the potential cars in the game. And I'm pretty sure all those cars have different styling functionalities too that you can change on the fly while you go throughout the course. Obviously, this is one of the couple of things on the server that we can actually do nowadays, and it's super cool. So I have to give props to the LSG guys for putting the time into the game and making these cars super cool. I'm not really sure what was going on with that 186Y. Why it looks so weird. Maybe it was some graphical setting that I had enabled that didn't like on those cars. But this 14 did look much better uh, graphically wise. And to be honest, the cars drove not the greatest, but I think for what they are, considering they have lots of camber, they were okay. So uh, other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Put down in the comment section below what else you'd like to see me do next. Also, give us a sub on the YouTube channel. All the help is much appreciated. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk to you guys very soon. Cheers, and goodbye.